okay guys today I will explain about static structural analysis it is just an introduction to static analysis and this is ANSYS student edition which is free to download from ANSYS website to start with I need to go or see the analysis systems there are different analysis systems so in this there is a static analysis static structure analysis we can see here now I just need to double click on this static structure analysis system I have clicked it so it will appear here now I will use the geometry which I have made in previous tutorial now if you see the static structural analysis there are stages like first is the engineering data where I can define the materials or use the materials from ANSYS database this is for geometrical modeling this is a FE model preparation like meshing this is a problem setup like boundary conditions and loads this is a actual solution and then the post processing is where you can see the results or plot the results now I'm going to link this geometry with this static structural analysis geometry for that I will click on geometry keep the mouse button pressed and just drop it on the geometry the second geometry now this geometry is same as that of this both are sharing same geometry but we can't edit here if if you want to edit geometry you need to go here and open it and then you can edit here and automatically it will reflect here next step is to do a meshing operations so I double click on this to open the meshing or model now this model will open now this is the ANSYS measure to load geometry now it will take some time yeah it is now attaching geometry so yeah geometry is visible now this is a solid from geometry option and this is a measure if you click on a measure it will show the details of this measure I will not do anything here I will just generate a mesh for this I need to right click or side click and just paste generate a mesh so by default it has generated the mesh I can change this mesh size for this I need to right right click on this measure then there is insert and I will choose sizing because I want to give a sizing define the sizing then click on this geometry 
now I can define sizing near some point on line on face or on an entire solid I just chosen the solid I'll pick the solid and apply so you sizing we can do on face line accordingly I need to choose the selection filter so I have decided to give sizing on entire volume so I chose this solid body and I selected the body so now the element size now to define an element size you can what you can do is you can take help from this bar I will change the view I will now look this into the from Z direction so if I click on Z it will show you the same entity from the Z direction yeah now yeah it is Z direction so I will again make it a Z direction now I am going to pan yeah I can pan now I will adjust it yeah this bar actually gives the tentative idea of the dimension this object so it is 80 mm then I will choose a size accordingly so suppose I choose 3 mm yeah this circle the circle is of 3 mm so I can now generate uh, I can see how mesh how element will look on this face then I will uh, generate a mesh this is absolute mesh will now will be wiped out and the new mesh is generated 3 mm sizing yes the next step is obviously to give the boundary condition so right click on the static structural system insert fix support choose this face I have used a filter face to this face and apply the fixed support is now applied on this face now I will ap apply a force then again I will go to static structure insert there I will choose a force I want to apply force on this face then apply now I want to apply force in negative y direction this is a y I want to apply in negative for this I will change it to a component I will give a component in negative y 100 newton yes it is 100 newton and it shows arrows now before solving I just check the material if I keep click on this solid the details of this solid are visible here so here actually the material which is assigned is shown now suppose I want to change this material I generally go here click on this and click on this arrow so here I can choose another material but I have not assigned any material in engineering data so suppose I want to assign aluminum alloy for this object I want to change replace the steel with aluminum alloy so for that I need to go to this engineering data double click on in this engineering data now this engineering data interface is open here you can use ANSYS material library or also you can create a material I will use ANSYS standard material library for that I will use engineering data sources I just click on it here you will find 
materials for different different analysis like this is non data materials for non data analysis this is for explicit dynamics explicit materials so i just want to do static analysis so i will choose general materials now these are the material database of the ansys i will choose eliminate alloy by clicking this plus sign now it is accessible to our measure i'll just close it go to the measure and now what i will do to material to be appear here i need to do for refresh all data and then the aluminum alloy is now visible here i will just pick it now this solid is assigned with aluminum alloy then i will solve this problem now this is a solution progress i also can see the progress by clicking solution information it will show the process going on in background yes the solution is complete now i will go to the graphics to first process i will just right click on this solution insert and i will monitor the stress equivalent bone mass stress i will evaluate the stresses yes now you can see the stresses bone mass stresses now here i can do is no wireframe so mesh will be hidden now i can also probe the stress at any point suppose i click on probe and i click this point this node the stresses at this point will be visible here similarly i can see the stresses in other point also i can also plot the deformation i will choose total deformation and evaluate results yes the deformation is visible it is in mm yes it is in mm now it is in auto scale mode and this has scaled it so i can also see the deformation to scale yes so this finishes our static structure analysis tutorial